So setting goals and defining risk tolerance. Let's dive a little bit deeper into setting goals. So we talked about identifying your financial goals. What do you want to achieve through trading? Is Now we're going to get a little deeper. Is it supplemental income, building long-term wealth, or something else? What is it to you? For me, it was first step was supplemental income. Then taking those profits and building long-term wealth with long-term investing, as well as getting more funded accounts to generate more wealth up front and then put them in that long-term account. So kind of had like a full system in place, take the, that quick money that I like to call it from day trading, scalping, and get those withdrawals, pay myself, cover taxes, and then also put some money in my long-term wealth. So that was that was my goal. I have Excel sheets to break down the percentages and all that stuff. So just input the numbers, boom, blah, 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 blah. Set realistic targets. So we talked about getting that overall goal you have, then breaking it down into a smaller goals and then breaking those into smaller goals and then breaking those down into smaller, more actionable steps to get to that big picture you have. So maybe it's a percentage on your return on investment. Do you want 1% a week, 2% a week, 5% a week? Um, whatever is realistic and something you can achieve, I would set that but also have that big target in mind where you want to work towards. So you have both the now goal and what you could work towards goal. So you have drive to keep pushing after you complete those small goals. And you want to define your risk tolerance. You don't want to risk too much when you're working for your goals. Over leveraging and putting too much in and risking too much. As much as you could think that it's going to get you to your goals faster, this is actually going to hold you back because if you do take a loss, now you're way further from your goal than if you had a sound risk management system. So one to 2%, if you know what you're doing, that that's fair right there. But otherwise, 0.25 or 0.5% of your whole account per trade risk is something you should be doing so you don't blow your account right away. As you have proven yourself and you get more confident for myself, I have different funded accounts. Some risk 1%, some risk half a percent. And then I do that. So I got one on both sides. One that's a little more conservative, one that's a little more aggressive. And that way, uh, if I do happen to go on a streak of losing trades, I may lose that 1% risk account, but I'm not going to lose that half a percent risk account because I need to lose twice as much to blow that account up. So I don't always max bet everything. I diversify my risk and have different accounts for certain risks. So that way I don't lose all my funding accounts as once doing a trade copier. I have them spread out. Then the hardest part, once you get all this down, your goals, your risk management, all that stuff, sticking to your risk management plan is something that I struggled with for a long time. Once you define your risk tolerance, it's essential to stick to it. Avoiding the, avoid the temptation to take on more risk than you're comfortable with and always use stop losses order, stop loss orders to manage your risk. So if you are in drawdown on your trade and it's getting you really emotional, that means you need to risk less. So step down a little bit in risk. So that way you're not getting emotional and making the wrong decisions or losing more than you should be losing. So let your emotions not trade but let them guide you to know if you need to tighten risk so for me uh let's say fifty thousand fifty thousand dollar account you're risking five hundred dollars for one percent i'm starting to lose 500 and i'm like i just i'm not i'm getting emotional when i'm getting stopped out at five hundred dollars well then i'm gonna go to half a percent at two hundred fifty dollars or if I'm getting emotional on that, I go down to the um, MES, the micros, and then I do 125. Now I'm at 0.25 risk. And then I work my confidence back up, build up profit in the account, and then get back to risking that 1%. That is kind of how, if I'm on a losing streak, I dial my risk all the way back to 0.25 and then build my confidence back up. 
happens to everybody, but I have that risk management system and tolerance rules in place that I know if I'm getting emotional, don't let the emotions do my trading, but let them guide me to less risk so I don't get emotional in future trades. And then once my emotions are back in check, we could scale up that risk.